Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow square fully inscribed in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the side lengths of this uh, right triangle ABC are uh, 12 and uh, 5 uh, respectively. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle ABC. We know its side lengths are 12 and uh, 5 and this side length is uh, unknown. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and uh, label this uh, longest leg as c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 12. So this is going to become 12 square plus b is going to be 5 square equal to c square. So therefore uh, c square equals to 169. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking uh, the square root on both uh, sides. This square and square root, uh, they are gone. So C turns out to be positive 13. So thus our hypotenuse uh, BC turns out to be 13 units. Instead of using the Pythagorean theorem, we could have used uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets. 5, 12, and 13. If we have these numbers 5 and 12, and then our longest leg is going to be 13. And here's our next step. Uh, let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. We know this is a 90 degree angle, then this angle has got to be beta. And now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle, this angle has got to be angle alpha. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be beta. And in this uh, triangle, if this angle uh, is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, then this angle has got to be angle alpha. And now we know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees, this angle is uh, alpha, then this angle has got to be angle uh, beta. And here's our next step. Let's assume that this uh, side length uh, AE is uh, x units. And this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 12. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, EB is going to be 12 minus uh, X. And now let's assume that the side length of this uh, yellow square is uh, L. Then uh, all these uh, side lengths are going to be L as well, since uh, a square has all uh, congruent sides. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, length uh, L before we can calculate the area of this uh, yellow square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, AED and this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, AED and the other triangle uh, ABC are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. Let's look at uh, the side opposite to angle uh, beta is x and the side uh, opposite to this uh, 90 degree angle is L. So I can write this ratio x divided by L equals to and now in triangle uh, ABC, the side opposite to this angle uh, beta is uh, 12 and the side opposite to this 90 degrees is 13. So I'm going to write down as a ratio of 12 divided by 13. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, FBE and this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC. And we can see that these are two right triangles FBE and the triangle ABC are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. Let's look at uh, this triangle. The side opposite to this uh, 90 degrees uh, is uh, 12 minus X and the side opposite to this angle alpha is uh, L. So therefore let me go ahead and write down uh, 12 minus x divided by L is equal to and now let's focus on this big right triangle ABC. The length opposite to this 90 degrees is 13 and the angle opposite to this angle alpha is 5. So I can write 13 divided by 5. And now let's go ahead and manipulate the left hand side uh, since L is the common uh, denominator. So therefore this could be written as uh, 12 divided by L minus uh, X divided by L as a partial fractions equals to 13 divided by 5. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, x divided by l on the other side and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. We know x uh, divided by l equals to 12 divided by 13. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x divided by l by 12 divided by 13. So therefore this equation is going to become 12 divided by l equal to 13 divided by 5 plus uh, 12 divided by 13. And now let's focus on this uh, fraction on the right hand side. And here I have copied it down. Let me show you how we can add uh, these uh, fractions. We are going to use a Chris uh, cross uh, method. So we're going to have uh, 13 times 13 is uh, 169. And then I'm going to put down a plus uh, sign. Then we're going to go the other way around. 5 times uh, 12 is uh, 60 all over 5 times 13 we're going to multiply them the denominator so that is going to give us 65 so therefore i'm going to replace this whole thing by 229 divided by 65 so therefore we can write 12 divided by l equals to 229 divided by 65 and now we are going to flip over both uh, fractions. So we are going to have uh, L divided by 12 equal to 65 divided by 229. And now let's multiply both sides by 12 on this side and this side as well. And we can see this 12 and 12 is gone. So therefore our length uh, L turns out to be, let's go ahead and multiply out uh, 65 times 12 that is going to give us uh, 780 divided by 229. So thus the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 780 divided by 229. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be I'm going to take the square of this 780 divided by 229 whole square and if we take care of this square so our area turns out to be approximately equal to 11.6 square units. So thus the area of this yellow square turns out to be approximately equal to 11.6 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.